Welcome back to Speed Dating for Ghosts, where we are in hell, having dates. You know, when I say it that way, suddenly I don't want to be on dates in hell. That sounds like a bad time. Uh, regular human dates are hellish enough. The bell rings. The first ghost appears. Wait, are they a ghost? <laughs> Salutations, bruh. They call me Andy. You party? <laughs> I love that animation. <laughs> that one frame is just so good. You look like you party. I party. Rad. Partying's like my main deal. My raison d'etre. I like exist to have a good time. Bring the awesome. What's your favorite kind of party? Something chill. I prefer ragers. But no judgments here. Chill is good. I like my chill time too. Lying back, going with the flow. It don't always gotta be a ruckus. What's your favorite means to chill? Good music. Music rules. Heavy stuff especially. Some hella loud. Make your nose bleed. Hmm. I guess if we're talking, chilling out, you probably like something more laid back. Beach jams? Uh, actually, I like loud music. Now we're talking. You know what? I sure don't love this music. We should talk to Gail, maybe. It's really harsh in my buzz. You'll survive. Don't be so sure. I'm a party demon. Gotta always be partying. Or else. I've never met a demon. A demon's like a ghost. We float around like you, but a demon was never alive. We're sort of born like this. With a singular purpose. For me, that purpose is partying. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Andy chugs a six-pack. All the cans at once. Burp. Ah, that's better. How do you drink beer? I open my mouth and pour beer in it. I don't need to drink beer. I don't need to do anything except party. If I don't party, I die. Aren't you already dead? Nope. Here's the deep lore dump. Demons are technically alive. Um, that's misspelled I'm like 99% sure that's technically <laughs> hmm. uh, and demons can cease to be like if a living person stops breathing except I have to remember to breathe like right now actually gotta dance a bit Andy dances a bit cha 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 there we go all good in the hood hey Want to hear a fun fact? These beads and shades aren't just for show. They lessen my need to party. How? By exuding party. Sort of like an RPG or something. Special item effects. <laughs> Plus three to partying. <laughs> Nerd. The bell ringeth. Time to mingle. See you later, crocodile. Oh, no. <laughs> See you later, crocodile. <laughs> A party demon. That's new. Another ghost appears. Oh shit, dude. And what do we have here? Another lonely spirit. Tell me, lonely spirit. What is loss? Um, the absence of something? Why, yes, dear. Precisely. You must feel it too, then. That profound emptiness. The loss of your life. I'm still me, though. Are you certain of that, lonely spirit? Ghosts are desperate for purpose. 
We lie to ourselves. Tell, uh, tell ourselves we still matter. That a part of us remains. But who is to say we matter anymore? We are not even matter. We are more like echoes. Epilogues of unfinished stories. Soon there will be nothing more to say. You and I will truly be nothing. I believe it will be glorious. Okay. What have you lost? Like you, I lost my life. Unlike you, it happened twice. They call me Agatha. Bane of Brixdale, Connecticut. <laughs> Brixdale, Connecticut. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just doesn't have the same uh, weight to it when you put it that way, but go on. An irregularity in the blood count. I suppose you could, at one time, call me a vampire. Yeah, I, I, I got that. Now I am a ghost. How is that possible? I was turned into a vampire that made me undead. It took a stake through my heart to simply make me dead. Who did it? A jilted lover. She didn't know I was a vampire. When she found out, she killed me in my sleep. Now I wander between worlds, a nothing in nowhere, deserving this lonely death, my broken heart on full display. No one deserves to be lonely. Of course I deserve loneliness, just as others feel they deserve happiness. Let me decide what I need, dear. You just worry about you. Perhaps I am being a tad dramatic. You seem quite harmless. I am complicated. I did sense as much from the moment you appeared across the table. You have a depth about you. You have a depth too, I suppose. Though it is more curse than blessing, I'd sacrifice death, depth for peace. The bell rings. The bell. Time to move on, lonely ghost. It is probably for the best. We will meet again soon enough. Another ghost appears. Aww. Look at big doggy. Hi, hello. Excuse me, sorry to bug you. I'm looking for my human. Have you seen her? Does she look like a ram? A ram? You mean Gail? Oh no, Gail's not my human. She's around here somewhere. I'm sure she is. Sigh. My name's Dave. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Dave. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Screenshot. My name's Dave. Uh, it's super to meet you. Even if I am kind of sad today. It would it be inappropriate to pat Dave? I feel like that would be inappropriate. Are you a dog? Yep, I am pup, or I am a pup. Sorry, I'm not used to talking just yet. I used to just woof. How can you talk? I don't really know how. I understood words when I was alive, but my dog mouth couldn't speak people talk. Now it can though. My human is a wisp, a piece of a spirit. She's usually right by me, just floating around. Never leads my side. Where's the rest of her? I guess still alive. A wisp is what happens when just a part of a person dies. That's what Gail said anyway. All I know is, one minute I was alive, eating some chocolate I found. The next, I died. When I came to, I was a ghost. And the wisp was there too. 
I guess that means part of my human died with me. How did you know it was her? I just sort of did. It's hard to explain. You dogs just know these things. The kid really wants me to pat Dave. <laughs> But I feel like that would be inappropriate. Could you smell her? Nope. I can't smell anything now, and my eyes are still bad. I miss smelling stuff so much. At least I can still hear. Can I scratch your ears? That would be super swell. You scratch Dave behind the ear. Oh, Thank you for scratches. It's pretty hard to do without back legs. The bell rings. Ah, woof, woof, woof. Sorry, loud noises scare me. Guess it's time to take another walk around. My human's gotta be here somewhere. Bye for now. Aw, what a pleasant pup. Poor Dave. I like that one. Uh, it's very melancholy, but yeah, rings true. Okay, um, I think, I think we're gonna, let's see. Yeah, we're on to round two. All right. We're gonna take a break and come back for the second round. See what we get. See you guys then.